Hi guys, I'm just making a quick demonstration video review here regarding uh, Canada Proof uh, folding portable solar panel. This one is 180 watts and it's got a 15 amp charge controller. Um, it's hooked up to my travel trailer which has got twin 6 volts on it, um, which were approximately half discharged. So you can see producing 12.7 volts. 12.7 volts and a nice 7.5 amps which is pretty cool right um, on the charge controller there you can see that the battery indicator that shows that it's uh, three quarters is illuminated um, one point seven amp hours of reserve time on the battery so um and it's probably it's probably saying that because um i have various various things running in the travel trailer so this thing would uh, produce as many amps as possible in relation to how much sun there is right and uh, uh it's currently something hazy uh, it's mid mid to late june here um in bc 2019 but yeah, I've been, this isn't an out of the box review. I've been using this thing for three years now. And to be honest with you, I have looked after it. I try and put it away dry. Um, but I've just purchased this 25 foot cable that I've just plugged in as well. I'm just trying that first right now today. Um, because where our travel trailer was when we were camping, it wasn't in a good location for the sun. I would have got a lot more if I could have moved my panel away, but check that out, right? You know, you know, I can put my panel 40 feet away now. So when we're camping, if we, you know, you can book a site somewhere. Um, but when you book a site, you don't know the, the exact height of the trees around you and how much sun you're going to be getting, right? So um, where we were, our location wasn't best for that. So I wrote that on the list. And uh, yeah, she's working like a champ. Canada proof it sure is tried and tested uh, 500 box give or take and um, that travel trailer uh, with the furnace running all night obviously kicking in and out with the thermostat set at 19 degrees this thing kept kept us in business all weekend three days didn't use a generator and you know it was there was one day where we hardly received received any Sun as well so uh, yeah, you can get by with them, um, but I'd recommend getting the extension cable for sure. And here is the seven pin plug that plugs directly in. Um, but I've got mine on with these crocodiles clips, which I prefer because it's more direct. Um, I don't know how much voltage loss you're getting um, by using this. I don't know where that's going in the trailer, but I know, I know where that's going, right? So. Uh, yeah, I hope you like my video, and I uh, hope that helps you make a decision on whether you want to get one of these things. I um, I use my panel all around my yard. I use it for charging my bobcat. Um, batteries in my dump trailer because the batteries in a dump trailer don't get used very often. And uh, yeah, why use power if you don't have to, right? Uh, buy a solar panel. I think will pay for itself over probably pay for itself over five years why would you buy a generator if you don't need one they're obnoxious right especially when you're camping okay guys hope you like that happy camping